This is my first time playing on this Minecraft server, and I just got spawn killed due to a player known as Minute Tech. Now, there's no way I could ever get back at him because he's one of the most dangerous people on the server, until I accidentally stole one of his shulkers with five hearts. Oh my god! It had five hearts in here! Now, I can easily use these hearts to get revenge on Minute Tech, but I didn't want to do that, because why would I want to be enemies with the most dangerous player on the server when I could instead be allies with them? So, I'm going to use these hearts to gain his trust by putting us into certain exercises, starting with a tightrope above the void. And it's your job to lead me across it whilst my eyes are closed in real life. Okay. Now at any point, Minute is able to give me the wrong instructions and send me to my doom. However, if he successfully leads me through the tightrope, he receives his first heart back. Teamwork in this situation is key, and at this point, my life was in his uh, I'm hands. Gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna count one Mississippi, two Mississippi. When I'm done, you're gonna let go of W. One Mississippi, two oh my Mississippi. God. This is the two block jump. I got this. I got this. Don't worry. I trust you that I'm on the correct position. Trust, trust, trust. Three, two, one. What was that? What was that? What? Did I not jump? I clicked my space bar. But you didn't jump two blocks four. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try again. Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, you made it. You made it. You made, it, you made it. You made it. Oh my god. Oh. Now walk four. Stop. Oh my god. Okay. In front of you are two blocks. Is this the end? This is the end. You're at the end. I'm trusting you to not kill me and make me jump in the void. Just go for it. Just go for it. Three, two, one. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're good. Oh you're good. my god. <laughs> Minute, I appreciate you for me being able to trust you there. Here's one heart back that I promised. Thank you. Okay, back. And despite me putting my life at stake, we had just left the end and separated paths, acting like nothing had just happened. Which, instead of showing signs of trust, only shows what Minute Tech would do for his hearts back. So, to combat this, I'm going to push his limits of trust. And what better way to do that than to make him betray one of his closest friends, Wembu. And by having Minute trap Wembu, it wouldn't show what he's willing to do for a heart, but instead it would show if he would want to work with me. So then I began to construct the trap, eyeing the prize of Minus Trust. But whilst I was building the trap, I faced two small setbacks. One, I lost a heart to my own trap. Um, I don't want to talk about it. And two, I lost a heart to Parrot in a game of hide and seek. Penta! No! Yes! I gave you that one, believe it or not. Yeah, I was cheating. What the? Okay, yeah, you know what? By losing these two hearts, it shows how fragile this plan is. At any point in time, Minute can message Wembu and save him, especially considering they're great friends. And if he does choose to do that, the chances are that we would stay as enemies just because of a simple death at the start of the server. However, I didn't have time to think about this, because I had just finished the trap and it was time to tell Minute what he's doing for his second heart. So when I first joined the server, you and someone else killed me in about two seconds. Right? Well, someone else killed you in about two seconds. This is more of a trap, and I'm gonna have you help me trap Wembu. You want oh, so you want me to help you get revenge? Yeah, basically. Just a little bit of revenge. And as I was showing him how the trap worked, so it's parkour, Wembu's gonna be doing it, and you're gonna be back here in this room. Right here, he'll be standing here to try and make this jump. When he is standing right here, you in that room, you'll break it and he'll fall down into a fall trap. Okay. I genuinely couldn't tell if he was going to actually help me or betray me. But there's only one way to find out what his plans are. And it is to test his trust by using the trap on Wembu. I think I'm gonna go hop in a call with him. All right. Okay. Bye. All right. See you. Chat. Yo. This shouldn't take long. I just need to make sure this stuff works. It's the second challenge. Is it at spawn? No. Well, I mean, it's close. Like It, it was actually like really close to the church. Wait, so did you do it with Minitech or is he just coincidentally on? I have no clue where he is. Oh. And with Wembu asking that question, the nerves have just set in. Whilst Minute was sitting in the trap room, he could have messaged Wembu at any point in time, meaning that it's very likely that he'll betray me. But even though I was extremely suspicious of Wembu, I was in too deep, and I just had to go with let's, it. Uh, let's do your video. No, yeah, we can do the parkour. I'm very, very bad at parkour, so this is a good test. Okay, this is very easy. This part's easy. Yeah. Uh, this is less easy. Is this okay? Is this jump right here too hard? Uh, I've been kind of passively trying to do. I actually don't understand how to do this. Okay, I mean, nice. This is, yeah. This is, you yeah. just make this. Yeah, there's easy. like a checkpoint. There's like a checkpoint here. You can just like start back here. Hey, Prince Am. Hey, Spoke is here. Everyone's getting on. I am doing... Wait, can I say what this is? Just say parkour, I guess. I hate parkour. He loves parkour. I don't actually. <laughs> that's like lie. For this okay, one, so you, you said crouch. crouch. Boom. Oh, wowzers. And with Wembu standing right above the trap, it was time I see if I can trust Minute. Either he can choose to not break the block, saving Wembu, or he can break the block and kill one of his friends. And ultimately, this decision was all up to him. He made the jump. He made the jump. No, oh my god. Oh my god, he's so fast. He's so fast. He's so, fast. He's so annoying, man. I'm sorry, Wembu. <laughs>
sorry. You're so weird. Listen, I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. What just happened there? Bro. <laughs> Yo, wait, where did that- well, how, Like, how did you die? Like, Wembu, what just happened, bro? How'd you die? What happened? I f off. And with me and Minute working together to trap Wembu, I began to see some sort of trust forming. That was a good trap. I, we didn't get the heart, but it doesn't matter. Didn't get, didn't get kill credit, but we still got the kill. I'm an honest man. Here's another heart. Thank back. you. That's thank you, thank two you, out thank of five. You. Thank you so much for helping me with the trap, though. Yeah, I got you. However, this situation was not over just yet. Because when some server members decided to join our call... How'd you die? <laughs> Sam, why is Sam here? Bacon Sideways. on Are you guys recording? Wait, is this revenge for when he, like, killed you? Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> and when I left and rejoined the call, I ended up catching them in the middle of planning something. Hey, Bacon, Bye. get on Bacon. Oh. Yo, they hey, said they wanted to jump you. Yo, Pantar in a minute. They said they wanted to jump you. Yo, Pantar in a minute. Wembu's trying to get you guys to get jumped. Now, this is actually a blessing in disguise, because even though they could be joking, it prompted Minute to message me this. Now this, this was a real sign of trust. Because in comparison to the last two situations where Minute was doing things for hearts, he messaged me this warning out of his own spite. And after taking his advice, I'd also advise you guys to hit the subscribe button. I mean, if you aren't subscribed, just subscribe. It would genuinely mean the world to me. But then I came up with the perfect idea of what Minute can do for his third heart back. And this idea involves risking my own life once again. Basically, part of the server has this grudge against Zam. So, a bunch of us were organized with the main goal of killing him. Zam is quite Thank literally you. right at spawn. Like, where at spawn? Like, like uh, spawn, spawn, like punching Penta right now at a cactus. One by one, someone go to yeah. spawn and log out. Guys, why don't you just log off in the egg, okay? Make yeah, sure that's where I'm at right now. Okay, oh. cool. So, the plan was to get Zam into a specific location and then we all log on to kill him. However, there's something that no one else will know besides Minute Tech. So, I got him into a private call and told him what he has to do for his third heart back. Yo, I think I know what this is about. So, we're fighting Zam right now. Or are about to, right? I'm gonna set myself at five hearts, and if I die, you do not get a heart back. Okay. You kind of just have to make sure I don't die. Okay, I got you. Oh my god. I'm on five hearts. If I die, I am not giving him a heart back. I, I got it. For this fight, Minute's job is to not let me die. And that would be easy if I wasn't on five hearts. Meaning that I'm always only a few hits away from dying. So, with all of us waiting for the signal to log on and kill Zam, only me and Minute knew the stakes of this situation. Okay, get on, get on, get on, get on. He's in the water. He's trying to go in car formation. He's gonna mine into the wall, bro. Did we win? Yeah, we won. We're almost there. That's a lot of people. <laughs> freaking out right now. Dude, dude, dude! dude stop. It's so hard to keep track of him with this many caves. And he's out! Oh my god, he's getting those caves. Wait, and he's out! I have a course for you. Uh, I don't oh. know where he went. Yeah, me either. Wait, so right. what are we looking for? Monster? So, yeah, you just, yeah. you just got like the best. There's no way. <laughs> okay, go find Zam, please. I can't. Too hard. And after looking around for some more, it was safe to say that Zam had escaped. And to be honest, this situation had no chances of Minute showing any trust. However, whilst I was making a new plan, a new opportunity arose. You know what would make what? sense if Mavic started his chest plate thing right now? They started? Oh my god, they yeah, literally they did it as it. I said that. On this server, three players have a team known as the Gucci Gang. And they have these unique eye-trimmed chest plates, which they ended up using to put a bounty on themselves. Where if someone kills one of them, picks up their chest plate, and has it until the end of the bounty, they can turn it back in for a heart in return. However, after looking in multiple places for them, we could not find them. Well, that was until they gave us their exact coordinates. Oh. oh. Oh, they're pretty far away. That's okay. That's okay. like across the map. All right, let's go on the, yeah, portal. Let's go on the portal. However, as we got closer, I kept realizing that I'm only on five hearts going into this fight. And the team I was working with was not giving me high hope. I, hey guys, no, have we actually going, like figured oh, out yeah, what we're going to yeah, do yeah. when we engage in this fight? We're oh, gonna, gonna kill. Like, and with nobody besides Minute knowing that I'm at five hearts, I could easily die. So, after traveling hundreds of blocks, we finally found them. Oh, shoot! Oh, they're here. I see them. And surprisingly, they added on Zam to help them in the fight, making the odds of me surviving extremely low. So, going into the fight, all I could do is trust Minute to not let me die. Yeah. Lock in, I lock in, lock in. Wait, you guys have even numbers. Okay, they're right? critting okay. me out, guys. Oh, they're just fighting. They're just fighting. I'll help them. Go. I'll help them. Go. Get bacon, get bacon. I webbed him. I webbed him. He's dead. No, you just scabs. I just make sure I don't die. I I don't want to die either, bro. Hey, <laughs> get him, Minute! <laughs> get him! I have Mayfic on me. Oh my god, Mayfic has cards. I forgot. That scared me, bro. He almost just carded me. I have two on me. Two on me. Oh my god. They're so dead. Weapon, weapon. 
I took his water. I took his water. Get parrot. <laughs> we get parrot. I'm yeah, yeah. Minute, I'm gonna come help you with Zam. I'm gonna help you, Zam. I'm fine with Zam. I'm fine with Zam. Honestly, I'm gonna go back for a chest play. Yeah, Zam keeps trying to oh, cart, bro. Parrot's trying to leave the fight. He might have a trap. That is true. I'm not gonna follow him too hard. Yeah, yeah go back. He's he's just leaving the fight. Get get the other. Yeah, if he's just gonna leave the fight, then we get a teammate. Beacon's coming back too. Look, minute, let's just drop, let's try and drop him. Yeah, let's just drop. We don't have cards. Oh wait, I, I might die here. Good one. I'm gonna just run for a second from Zam. Uh, it just takes a person out of the fight for you guys. Oh, I've made the can Zam on me. Yo, so no. Guys. Oh, oh, oh Zam. Zam left, only Mapey yeah. coming. No, wait, both of them are. Guys, guys, can you, you guys kill one, maybe? Wait, 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 we got a Pentar, we got a Pentar. Yo, minute, 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 let's go. Nice. Oh my nice. god, let's go! Get the chest plate, get the chest plate, protect me. Get the chest plate, get the chest plate. Wait, did I get it? I think I got it. I got a chest plate. Is it I? Is it I? It is, it is, it is. Yo, I'm gonna just rock it. I'm gonna just rock their chest plate in front of them. Rock it, rock it, rock it. And alongside Minute not letting me die, I also got the chest plate, making me and the rest of my team ecstatic that we even won the fight. However, there was something off, especially when Minute did this. Wait, wait, wait. Um, 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 um. Oh, shoot. What? Oh, bro's going to do. Wait, Pentor, can I take a screenshot with him? Yo. Okay, well, instead of paying me the heart, you pay me the chest plate. With Minute saying this, I just realized that the entire fight, Minute was fighting for the chest plate instead of keeping me alive, which made the entire aspect of trust pointless. And alongside this, he had no hesitation when he wanted the chest plate over the third heart, meaning that he had no care for what I intended to do with this situation. However, I could not help but notice how desperate he was for this simple chest plate. Okay, ah, shoot, cause I really want all the chest plates. Cause like, think about it, a chest plate equals a heart. Acknowledging his desires, I decided to see how much he truly cared about this chest plate. So, I decided not to give it to him and see what he does. And as expected, he kept showing signs of how much it meant to it. I mean, is there any point in me trying to get the trust of someone who only cares about hearts? Should have I not given him the chance to even get his five hearts back? This entire thing started with me dying and trying to resolve this conflict. And at this point, this entire situation left me confused and questioning if I should have ever chosen to try and trust my enemy. As we headed back to spawn, I was wondering what my next steps would be. But with no clear direction, I didn't know what to even do. Well, that was until when I got an idea when I had to give this third heart to Minute. Oh, wait, Minute, can we uh, private VC second? Yeah. Hey guys, I wonder what they're private VC. YOLO. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's just go to like actual spawn so no one just picks up your heart. Oh, yeah, okay. Sure my recording's recording. Boom, boom. Thanks. So you don't want to give me the chest plate for right now? I took one last look at this chest plate. It was clear to me that this whole armor trim thing had way more meaning to him than to me. And looking at it from this perspective, it made me reconsider the decision of not giving him the chest plate. So I decided I wanted to change my previous actions, and I did this. You know what? I'll do you one better. Here's a heart um. and the chest plate. Oh my god, wait, what the- I realized that if I want Minute to trust me, I also have to learn how to trust him. What the heck? <laughs> Thank you. Of course. And giving this chest plate to him was my last ditch effort to show my trust towards him. And fortunately, it was a good idea to give him the chest plate because I died to Zam maybe five minutes later. But with me giving it to him, I've shown my trust, but I still have no clue if he has any trust towards me. So I kept wondering, would this rivalry still exist in the future, or would we learn how to trust each other? And I had just gotten the perfect idea of how how to answer this question. I wanted to have Minute make a decision between me or the rest of the heart. So I made a fall trap all the way down to bedrock that he can punch me in if he chooses the hearts over me. And hopefully through everything we've been through, Minute can see the trust that we've put into every situation. But ultimately that decision is up to him, whether he chooses to care about the hearts or to care about me as an ally. And with all of this in mind, I decided to give Minute this proposition. Okay, yeah, follow me, it's this way. I set myself on five hearts in the fight against Gucci Gang plus Prince Sam, right? Yes. So, we ended up killing Maypick, was it, right? We killed Maypick? Yeah. I ended up actually picking up his chest plate. You wanted the, the chest plate more than you wanted the heart. Yeah, I really needed it. I was gonna ask you, why do you why is the chest plate so important to you? See, the Gucci Gang's been the root of a lot of my problems and they're doing this competition where if you can get the chest plate off any of them, um, they would have to leave the team. Mm -hmm. So, having the chest plate, that gave me a lot of power. And with that power, I had, uh, I worked out a few deals with Mapic and uh, turned it into more than one heart. To continue giving the five hearts that I originally stole from you, I'm going to give you a decision. Okay. Now, there's a fall trap that goes all the way down to Bedrock. That I could push you in right now. Yeah, at any point you can push me in. However, here's the decision. I could either give you the two hearts right now and you can punch me in. Okay. Or I will give you one heart right now and you have to let me help you get the remaining chest plates back, which will also grant you the final heart once that's done. 
Oh, um. <laughs> so here's the thing. The chest plate timer ended. This statement basically meant that the offer of saving me was worthless in comparison to the two free hearts. And with him saying this, I had lost all hope. I mean, with him caring more about the chest plate and the hearts, I just don't see a reason why he would need me. And at this point, I was considering just jumping into the hole myself. However, right as I was contemplating that, Minute said this. Um, I, okay, I, so that might not work, but I do have a different enemy that I could use help with. I mean, I, I can help with that. I, I mean, I could easily push you into this right now too hard, but like, that's lame. That would be doing you bogus. That would be doing you very bogus. So I think I'm going option two. I respect that decision. It's one heart. <laughs> All right, thank you. Of course. Now the player Minute is referring to is Prince Zam. But to be honest, I didn't really care who his target was. I was just simply glad that Minute showed some sort of trust in me. And at this point, I knew that the only thing I can do to finally resolve this conflict was to help Minute kill Prince Zam. Yeah, do you have any like plans to start off with or anything? Or is it like a rough idea still? It could be a lot of things. I think a trap would be pretty cool though, because he's been like randomly jumping me. So like next time he randomly jumps me, I'll just lure them to the trap and like GG's. Now I didn't have an idea for this trap, but apparently Minute had one that involved TNT minecarts. So, because I didn't have access to any gunpowder, I made a trade with 4C for a gunpowder farm. So we're doing a trade? Alright, now that you've signed those documents, I will take them. <laughs> you can now use this farm. Thank you for letting me use your farm. And after AFKing the gunpowder farm for a bit, oh my god. I then got some sand to make some TNT. And finally, I AFK'd an iron farm to make them into TNT minecarts. But whilst me and Minute were working on the trap, I couldn't help but think about everything we've been through. At first, I put my life in his hands, trusting his instructions above the void. Then, I made him betray one of his friends just to be able to work with me. Also, I set myself to five hearts in a fight for him to keep me from dying. On top of this, I had a chest plate that everyone was going after, and I decided to give it to him. And most most recently, I gave him a decision that could have ended any form of trust with one singular punch. However, I just now realized that I'm not only doing this because he killed me when I joined, but ultimately because I simply wanted someone to trust. Okay, and let's cover this up before we accidentally blow it up. Yeah, no, I think, I think it'll be fine. I don't think he'll suspect it. Highly doubt he will. I'm really hoping it works. I'm pretty sure this will work. I don't see how he could escape that. And about one day after we finished the trap, Minute was invited to some sort of musical by a few people, one of them being Zam. So, in the case of a fight, I asked Jumper for an extra five hearts. Then, I went over to the trap and got in position, ready for Minute to lure them over. However, for Minute to bring them to this location, he has to go and figure out if they're trying to kill him or not. Bro, like, I'm really not trying to die right now and get one me forward, bro. Like, what is this? You're not gonna die. What are you talking about? About. Why would you die? Why would you die? Okay, you, it'll all make sense soon, okay? Um, the more cryptic you are, the, the more sus it is. What in the world are they doing? And when Minute had arrived, this is what he was met Welcome. with. Welcome. Welcome to the oh theater my. of Brandon. <laughs> Welcome to the Brandon okay. show. So like, what is this? Like, what, what am I looking and at? And naturally, right as Minute does, he started to investigate for any signs of trash. Why is I it built like, so weird like about. this? Bro, I don't know. What is that? Uh, I actually don't know. I actually, you want to investigate? Let's investigate. Like genuinely okay, no okay, idea. Okay. This is 5,000% a trap. Oh my God. But despite his suspicions, Minute decided to go into the musical and was met with- hey, My face is on that man's chest, bro. Like, what is this? <laughs> Uh, let's start with show number one, the the birth of Brandon. Okay. Let's get to it. Come on, get started. Ah! And the rest of the show was going smoothly until something odd was brought up. Um, <laughs> I'd like to thank <laughs> one specific crowd member tonight, and his oh. name is um Abraham. Who is Abraham? What do you mean who's Abraham, bro? Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I know what that means. <laughs> Little did you know, during that entire play, I'm scared. Uh, straight up. Oh, oh my god, wait, he's on his way. And with Minute being correct about them wanting to kill him, all he had to do now was lead them to the trap, where I would be ready to end this conflict. I've been needling your bones down. They have your been bones down to mere, mere break powder it. dust. There's name tags. Oh my god. Now that he's right next to the trap, all he has to do is swim down the cave and hope that they follow behind and him. And when he reaches the end to Chorus Fruit, we just have to trust each other that the trap works. Sus meter going off, sus meter going off. Beep, 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 beep. Is it working? Come down! Nah, the sus meters are actually on the rise, bro. Please! Just break down. He is actually so a the chorusser. Okay, so he's in a cave. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, so we just got trapped. Oh my god! What? Oh my god! Okay. Oh, 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 oh
bro. I can't do this. Oh, oh, he's, oh, oh, he's such a sweat, bro. He's such a sweat. How? Oh my god! No way! Get him! Get him! So we just got trolled? Wait, am I the only one alive? There is shot! There is no! Smoke, 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 guys, smoke, smoke. Why are you like this? What? You think you can just be like this? If we can get me, that's insane. Oh. He went up, he went up. Let's run, okay, let's run, let's go. And running away from the remains of the trap, there was one thing I still had to do. And that last thing was to give Minute Tech his fifth and final heart. I think uh, I think we had a very uh, fun streak of events there. That was, um, that was most definitely fun. <laughs> and answering the question of can I trust my enemy? Well, this all began with me just wanting someone to trust. And by using my resources and taking risks, I think I was successfully able to gain an ally. Yeah, I, I think we built ourselves a nice allyship. Here. But nothing more than that. Here's your final heart. All right. Thank you're you. good when you're on the wrong side of right. Guilt ain't mean nothing but a lover's fight. A fool was I now. You played me like a clown.